How's it going YouTube? Dropship Captain here. I'm going to show you guys real quick uh, how to fix Space Engineers if you're having issues with it. I had an issue where I was logging in to fix my Navita chip and for some reason it just it took a crap on me needless to say. So real quick you go here right click to properties you know and then you go to betas. Now it's going to say this you're going to want to go here because this is basically resetting the game to where it's, you know, 32DX9, DirectX9, 32-bit. It's at 64-bit and DirectX11. Um, this is basically old-school mode, so to speak. So, this is going to load here on this side. That's totally normal. And uh, just to give you a download run, if you already know what we're going to do here, because some people do, Basically, we're going to load into the we're going to load into the Direct DX9 version of the game, then switch it to Direct X11 and opt out real quick. And I'll show you again. Opt out, none of the beta programs. So we start here first, we end here last. And I'll show to you that this works. It may be a two-part series. I'm trying to make this within five minutes. Uh, oops, sorry, at 80 percent. Yeah. yeah, as you can see, I like my games. You know. So, yeah. But, that's loaded. Play. It's going to come up here. You can give it the option to load it right before it starts. I, I like to click the buttons. It just feels more official. I don't know. Sometimes it didn't work for me either. They're space engineers in all its glory. This is where it gets really fun. Okay, so there it is. Here's the game. And then look here. You see how that says 64-bit DX9 32-bit? That red? That means that this is what version you're running. And that's what they did to make the game nicer. But for our purposes, we're going to go here. We're going to go to, I believe it's graphics. And then, I already put this on DX11, but yours is going to be set like that. So, so here, let me show you what yours is going to look like. So, graphics, oh, DX9, and then that. So, that's pretty much it. That's all you had to do there. And then, you sign out here. Oops. You sign out here, it's going to ask you to leave. And then it's the same thing. Properties, betas, 32 bit, just opt out. That's all you got to do. And now it's still loading in, in queue. Oh, yeah. For those of you that don't know, there's a development branch with the game. Go ahead and opt into that if you're interested. I thought that that was kind of cool that Keen Software put that out there. Thank you, Keen Software. Your game kicks ass. Thought I'd let you know that. Sorry for profanity. If that bothers you, well, dislike the video. I'm just trying to show you guys how to fix this because I spent like a good, like, a good day. Because last night I downloaded my driver and for some reason it just said some message like you can't, like, can't use this or something. I'll, I'll pop it up eventually and throw it in the video somehow. But the point is that that message prevented me from playing the game because it's not, it's not using DirectX 11, it's using DirectX 9. So something happened when I downloaded it from here on the Vita that changed their whole thing. Like they completely changed their whole site, but and that's a 74, sorry, I'm just going on about. So like, yeah, I mean, it's a great game. It's just sometimes this happens, so I thought I'd show a video on how to do this and fix it, you know. Maybe your problem may not be the same. Maybe it may, maybe it's not. I don't know. What I do know is this helped me. And now I can play Space Engineers. And this just totally rocks it, rocks it out of socks. Like, I'm thinking I'm going to have to buy a new graphics card, which I, which I may. I may want to because, you know, after a year, you're going to want to get a new one because there's new technology out there and so forth etc etc so yeah i mean there it is see and then 64 bit there it is the game works i mean here i'll even go as far as loading in a world welcome all
I mean, I'm probably going to run this video until it says, need more space. But my idea here is to show and prove to the world that this works, and if you have problems with your game, this is how you can fix it. Basically, you trick it. Oh, you're 32-bit, even though I'm supposed to be running on 64-bit. And then you switch it to 64-bit, and then you load it back in, and you're playing on 64-bit. I thought my graphics card took a crap on me. I have DirectX 11 on my thing. So, if this happens to you, this is what you do. Sorry, I'm just going on about it for a while. I just... I took a nap and just thought to myself, Okay, how do I get this game to work? Oh, wait. Opt out. <laughs> so, there you go. I hope this, I really hope this helps everyone. I really do. Is it going on the six minute marker? Uh oh. Oh, it's working. I hear noises. I heard a, a ship or something. I heard a sound effect. Watch, something happens. You're like, great, six minute video for nothing. <laughs> and I don't know what these are. I just recently started noticing on that. It looks like a microphone and it looks like a refresh button, so it's got to be a part of the Navita thing. I don't know. I always like the quotes. The quotes are awesome. I hear it. There it is. Space Engineers. There's my little camp. I think it's, uh, this is actually the Manta. I'm actually going to show this real quick. Um, the, man the Manta was made, I think, by some Russian dude. Because every time I look into the HUD, it's, it's all in, like, Russian lettering crap, man. And I can't understand a lick of what it says. I just think it's really cool looking, beautiful language. Look at that. English doesn't have that. That's cool, man. <laughs> it'd, probably be, it'd probably say something bad for all I know, but that's the cockpit. So, 